Well, Quibus, the Cape Town Ted squad looks as solid as ever. A fine mix of youth and experience sets the West Coast crew up well for victory. The brains behind the machine are made up of Junior LaRue, Lionel March and Darren Symes. The experience of these coaches over the years will no doubt prove vital when making decisions. Well, let's start with the pack. Andre Picotto weighing in at 96 kilograms. Look out for this menace all over the park. Patrick Smoke and Mirrors Holman will be busting the tackles all weekend. This big ball carrier is an asset on the field and especially in the beer tent. Andres Hefer will add to the big ball carriers of the West Coast crew. The ex-Lions rugby under 11. Eighth man has what it takes to become a hashtag WCC legend. Eden Diolandi is nothing more than a shadow of his brother Damien. This Fijian winger is the quickest man on the planet. Over three metres. Jacques Fente, also known as Vodacom, weighing in at a solid 147 kilograms. The Blue Bulls' eighth man has been known to offer free airtime. Markets here hasn't missed a single Cape Town Tens tournament, a real stalwart within the West Coast Cruise squad. Mark is a keen eye for detail, which makes him the ultimate finds master. Well, next up is Mr. Neil Worldwide Cleghorn, a.k.a. Pitbull, who's the winner of the biggest hit at Cape Town Tens 2016. He was also awarded the biggest, well, we can't really say it live on air here, but uh, he had a dubious title awarded to him at Twine 2017. Well, let's hope the right Neil arrives this year. Young Rico Stewart provides the youth to the side. Four tournaments in and Rico will always add value if asked to. Look out for his nimble feet and his no fear defence. Gareth 99 caps row falls just short of the mark. This towering machine of Lucy will never disrespect the game he loves so much. He'll only disrespect his opposition. Johan the Tower Hrobler dominated the lineouts in Chwane. This fellow knows the skills of a centre, the fitness of a flanker, and well, he's not too bad with a beer in hand as well. Well, it's Matthew the Wizard Fisser who always pops up at the right time. Whenever the West Coast crew are in need, the Wizard arrives. The veteran of 11 tens tournament is eyeing the prize this year. He's the enforcer and is going for an all-out victory in 2018. Well, now we turn our attention to the quickies for the corner, the back line. Well, Quibus led by the most capped festival rugby player in history, Tom Moose Henry brings the calmness to the storm. This old head is sure to be run over more than once, but let's hope he manages to keep himself up in the tent at least. Then there's Clayton Captain Teron, who leads his Josie boys from the front. This utility back is definitely a man to watch out for after some menacing runs in Shwane and more clean breaks than the Mediclinic has ever seen. Andrew Soft could see us making a comeback to contact rugby after playing three games in the past 16 years. Let's hope this comrade's athlete can handle himself in the rough. Arno Catwalk Robler is the reigning walk-off champion. He successfully raised the trophy in the inaugural walk-off in Cape Town 10's 2017. Ladies, beware. This man has some serious abs and skills. Brandon Nohans lies more boasts about as many caps as successful passes made in Chwane. One or maybe two. Let's hope this burly centre brings his A-game to Cape Town 10's. Andre Crayer, a.k.a. Babyface, is like a kid in a candy store. His first time leaving the south of Josie, well, we're not sure if we should, should notify any of the authorities. This nimble-footed backline player has eyes only for the corner and, of course, Andres. Well, K and K-Man Oppel, a.k.a. Brian Banner for the corner, 
has a big tournament ahead of him after almost crashing over in the corner of the cup final in 2017. He buried himself in the bottle. Well, let's hope for a better reason to bury himself in 2018. Mornay Monstana Smull is on debut for the crew in 2018. With more hits than the Beatles, Mornay will be providing the burst of energy on attack and defence that's well needed. Well, Ridge Peterson sounds like a character from the bold and beautiful, but he is another youthful player hoping to contribute. He's cool, he's calm and collected, and that's what one would expect. Let's just hope he doesn't lose his cool or any teeth. Ruan Stienberg is a big ball carrying centre. Some big bollocking runs with plenty of how's your father. This runner will definitely be getting the crew some front football. Shane Pavelander is the West Coast crew's final debutant. He's never missed leg day in his life and this can be seen. He's a towering flower that will be instrumental in the West Coast crew's success. He also doesn't mind a few cold ones either. Tristan Baba Deacon is also a veteran of 11 tournaments for the West Coast crew. Another powerful centre who doesn't mind getting stuck into his opposition or the beer tent. Well, another Tristan, this time it's Tristan Sniper Solomon. He's weighing in at a hefty 45 kilograms. Well, he's bulked up considerably for this tournament, so he's hoping to put his speed and his size to some serious use. Well, Jason Jost is packed down in the front row for the West Coast crew and played in the 10 channel. Well, this versatile speedster also holds the record for the fastest try in 10's history. Well, Quibbers, with a squad like this, the West Coast crew are really expecting big things. Two full days of blood, sweat and beers finally signed off with more than just a chess guitar. The Cape Town Tens, watch out, because the West Coast crew are coming. Hashtag yes.